Hi guys, Rob Bryan here. Um, just a very quick little message. Uh, thanks ever so much for everyone writing about this workshop this evening. Um, so I'm just going to try and I've had a few questions come in. So I'm just going to try and you know sort all those out in one go. So yes, it is free, and it's live tonight from 7 p.m. UK time, um, and it's uh, only available uh, on Drumdog. Uh, and if you follow the, the link below, you'll just hit on that at seven o'clock and you'll go straight to the workshop. Um, and there is a live Q&A afterwards with me and the guys from Drum Dog. So you can talk to us about anything to do with Buddy Rich or drumming and what you thought of it. Or if you have any questions about what I played and so on. So next, uh, what one of the questions was, what, what element of Buddy's playing? Well, I've put a few posts up now uh, on Instagram and Facebook, but... The buddy that I kind of fell in love with, in a nutshell, was not necessarily the swing buddy, which is kind of what he's known for, the swing big band music. I actually liked it when the big band played straight ahead, funk and rock charts, um, and he was playing more quaver straight grooves. Um, I really liked the interplay between his snare and hi-hat, so I'm not going to give too much away, but it, I'm dealing with that element of it. So if you know the tunes like um, Birdland, No Jive, Time Will Tell, Dancing Men... Um, Oh, there's loads of them, isn't there? Big Mac uh, and stuff like that. That's kind of what I'm honing in on. Um, and I'm also sort of looking at how some of those things that he did between his snare bass and hat and some of his linear phrasing really inspired drums like myself and many others, you know, to create a more kind of what you could call modern way of, of playing. So that's why I've said it's not necessarily for jazz players, though you could still put some of it into a swing idiom if you wanted to, of course. But I'm coming more from the, the straight ahead 16th note quaver feel rather than swung dotted quavers. OK, so uh, the live q and I'm not sure when that will start, obviously when we finish the workshop. <laughs> but come along, think of some questions. Uh, as I say, it's free, so try and have one eye on Glastonbury, you know, one eye on what we're doing. And it, it's a shame it fell on Glastonbury weekend, but it was the only time that I was free and the drum dog guys were free to, to be able to do this. So anyway, I better get my skates on, got to get going. Guys, check out Instagram, check out Facebook, check that link. Any other questions, just buzz me, let me know. Thanks for all the PMs this morning, it's been brilliant. So I hope you enjoy it. Come along tonight and tell me how much you're enjoying it. And I'll see you at 7 p.m. Any other questions, just hit the guys at Drum Dog and we'll do our best to do it, answer it within the next few hours. Anyway, better go, take care, bye.